everyone, this is the Mobile Philosopher and in this video we're going to see how to import mail and context from Windows Hotmail, Windows Live and Windows Outlook. We'll first go to settings up here in the right hand corner, click settings again. Then we're going to go into accounts and import which is the fourth option here. Then we're going to go down here to the second option which is import mail and contacts and then go to this link right here which states the same thing. This will open up a new tab or a new pop-up window which gives us step one which is sign into the other email account which we're going to import from. So we're going to go over here and put that in. We're going to press continue. It will ask me now for my password of this account We're going to press continue. Now it says Gmail couldn't identify the POP server. That's okay because right now, given the fact that Windows has not changed the live POP server to the Outlook one, this will cause Windows sometimes confusion. The only way to resolve this is just by putting in the password here various times, maybe once, maybe twice, until it understands that you actually want to continue. But that's unfortunate until they change the, this server here from live to Outlook. So we're going to put in the password for this Outlook address here once again. And then we're going to press continue. So as you can see that worked. Now again, that might take up to two or three times re-putting in the password. Don't worry, sooner or later it will get into step two which will be the import options. Here the only thing we want to do is actually nothing. We want to start importing. We're going to leave the import mail, leave a copy, we won't click on. Archiving, only do this unless you actually really want everything to skip the inbox. And then we add the label which will also help me. You can also change this. Let's say I, I don't need this long thing. I can just put, for example, and leave it like that instead. It makes no difference. This doesn't affect the emails. After I put the title of the label here that I want, then I simply push start import. It will check. And it tells me that it might take several hours. This will only be if that if you have a lot of emails. If you have very little, then this might uptake only a half hour or even a few minutes, depending on how many there are there. It says you can close this and Gmail will continue to import and it will continue to do that in the future as well. So we'll just click OK here and close this up. So this brings me back into this. And as you see, this popped down here. It says that it's now check mail from other accounts. It added this account here under the POP3. And now it will check this every once in a while. And it checks it every few minutes. And then it will add the new emails to your inbox in your Gmail address. Now, if I go out here, you're also going to see something interesting. If I go to the left hand column here, it has now uh, added in theory, the new label here, which is not presenting itself. So we're going to have to refresh this and see if it pops out. And as you can see, with the refresh, it added this new label here that we did not see beforehand, but for some reason it didn't work, so we had to refresh. And this is a, another very good important point. When you don't see certain things, do not freak out. Usually just by refreshing the uh, website, it usually offers the new options that were not there at the beginning. Here we have our label, which is in a very weird format, but good enough. And as you can see, it is already pulled from my Outlook account an email here that now is now in bold given the indicating that it's new. If we go to the Outlook address we're going to see that's the only one in my inbox here and if I go back you can see it pulled it in. So it's actually already starting to pull in the emails that I had from the Outlook address and we'll continue to do this indefinitely as long as I have this set up like this. Now just another quick note here Sometimes Outlook actually mentions to you that given the fact this is a free account, you, could, you have to go in at least once a year, otherwise it will cancel it unless you get the paid version, which is like $20 a year. In this case, this is a free version, so even though I let this go automatically for the entire year, I'm going to have to come in at least once during that year to check on this just in case, otherwise it will close the 
email address down. So otherwise, outside of that, you shouldn't have to do it more than once a year, and it will automatically pull all of these in. So I hope this helps. Take care and enjoy.